Runway AI has released their Gendry version to the public, and the internet is going wild about it. The videos that you're seeing right now have been generated by Runway. And in this video, I will waste my hard-earned money on Runway Gentry to give you insights of how it works. I will demonstrate to you the best prompting techniques, and we will have some fun in generating a bunch of stuff with Runway AI. First of all, how do you access Runway Gentry? On Google, we type in runway.ai, then we are here at Stride Gentry Alpha. Once you've accessed that, you have to log in and now you can get started on Runway Gentry. Keep in mind, this tool is not free. You have to pay for this and honestly, it's very, very expensive. You have the option to go with their free plan. Unfortunately, you cannot generate Gentry stuff with that. So you're most likely going to use the standard plan, which is $15 per month, which gives you about 625 credits per month. Now, this is not a lot. Let me demonstrate to you how the credit system works. So here we can see we have 600 credits with the standard plan. And if we check out how much it costs to generate stuff, then check this out. It will cost you 10 cents to generate one second of runway gen tree. And you can only generate in like either five seconds or 10 seconds. So it will cost you like 50 cents or $1 per generation that you do. Now, I'm not sponsored by Runway, so I'm spending my own money on this. So let's actually put up a counter on how much money I've spent using Runway. What we do now is we click on get started and then this is Runway Gentry Alpha. Keep in mind, if you don't see it, you have to select it right here. Then here we can write or prompt. Then we can also change our prompt settings. We can go from 10 seconds to like five seconds. And we can also create custom presets. So you can do that right here. If you have anything that you want to save, you can do so right there. Now, keep in mind though, it's very straightforward. You don't have many settings to choose from. Now, before I show you more details, let's just generate our first video with Runway AI. So first, I would recommend you to click on guide. And this will help you a lot into getting to know what you have to do. So the way it works is as follows. It wants you to use this kind of structure to streamline your prompting. Now, here we have a camera movement, an establishing scene, and some additional details. So for example, there can be a low angle static shot, camera angled up at a woman wearing all orange as the stance in a tropical rainforest with colorful flora. The dramatic sky is overcast and gray. Now let's actually copy this and let me show you what that will look like. So now we generate this, we can do five seconds or 10 seconds. This just cost me like 50 cents so i'm just going to do five seconds for this so that took about 60 seconds a five second clip will take you about a minute and a 10 second clip will take you about 90 seconds so let's take a look at it okay that looks very realistic i don't know what's going on like right there I've, it almost seems like a bug is flying in um, but honestly, this looks very realistic. Now let's have some fun with it. So within the prompting guide, it is telling you these different camera styles. So we have low angle, high angle, FPV, and this is one that I'm very interested in about. So I'm gonna do something with FPV. Then it will also show you like the lighting style. So you can do like backlit, you can do side lit, you can do all kinds of things. You can even change the movement speed. They give you all kinds of examples right here. And you can also do hyperspeed, which is pretty freaking cool. Now, let me just go back. Let me remove this. And now let's do a continuous hyperspeed FPV footage. The camera seamlessly flies through a waterfall into the dreamy clouds. So this is kind of like a transition. So let's see what it generates for this. Now I'm going to do 10 seconds, which will be my last 100 credits that I had left. So I have to buy some new credits after this. Okay, damn. That's pretty cool. Like it's it's almost like a Sam Calder transition at this point. It's like honestly, it's it just looks like a FPV drone. It looks a bit weird like this waterfall. It's it's the water is going a bit weird, but it looks very very good. Let's actually get a bit more into details about the prompting technique because bad prompts will cost you a lot of money. Trust me, I've lost a lot of money. Like I'm already out of credits and I've been trying this for a while. So I'm gonna buy some new credits right now. And like 2000 credits will cost you like $20. So let me just do this right now. 
Okay, so I just spent $20 to add 2,000 credits to my account and now we can continue to generate. But before I do that, let me actually show you how you can generate the best prompts so you don't waste a lot of money. And trust me, I've done this a lot. So the first tip that I want to give you is go through this entire thing. Actually, I've downloaded this guide, I've put it into ChatGPT and I've made my own custom bots from this. So I have my bot like right here and this is like my prompting guide so let me just generate a new chat you can get access through this bot for free if you click the link in the description down below and how this works is as follows you can generate this yourself as well so i've literally put in all the information that i know about runway gentry into this bot i've even added in a pdf with like this guide in there now what this does for me is now if i have a shot so for example i want to create a shot about a man with curly hair standing on the beach close-up shot and he smiles what it does now it will generate a prompt for me that i can use in runway gen 3 so we have camera movement close up a man with curly hair standing on the beach the sunlight highlights his curls and he smiles warmly the ocean wave crashed softly in the background with a gentle breeze rushing his hair. So yeah, I can just copy this. Now I can go back to runway and I can just paste this in there and now we can generate. So now I have to wait just a minute again and we have this generation. So now let's take a look at our man with curly hair. Okay, so bro's looking majestic. Let me actually do one with a beautiful woman because yeah, that might be more fun to look at. So here we have my prompt that I generated with my custom GPT bot. So now we're gonna copy this and let's put this into runway and let's see what we get. While this is generating, for those that don't have access to ChatGPT4, what you can do instead, you can also go to ChatGPT and I've actually like typed it in right here. You can simply ask like, give me some fun ideas for a text to video generator. Everything is possible. Check the info from this website. I've just linked this website. It's not as good as the prompting guide, but it will give you some different ideas. So here I have a time-lapse of a cityscape. Let me actually generate this in the meantime. So instead of a time-lapse, I want to do a hyperlapse. And let's generate. Now this one is in queue and it will start also after this one. Let's take a look at the women we have generated. <laughs> Her smile is like creeping me out, but yeah. She didn't quite wink. She blinked with both of her eyes, but I believe I mentioned like she winks playfully, but she didn't do that. So anything that is too specific might not do it. Now here's our hyperlapse of the city. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell that this was AI generated. I think it looks that good. And this is also where I think like runway gen 3 is very helpful. So if you need very specific B-roll, then you can simply generate this using runway. It will only get better in the future. Like gen 3 is already way better than it was on gen 1. So yeah, I would urge you to check it out. But before we do that, let me show you a few bad examples and some good examples. So you know like what not to do and what to do and how you can save money this way. So let's go back to our dashboard and then we can go to our assets. Now here we can see generated video. I have generated over 23 videos with Runway. Yeah, I still have some credits left, but let me show you a few examples of videos that went pretty well and videos that went horribly wrong. So this jellyfish that you're looking at right now went really well. And the prompt for this was very specific. I actually stole this from the OneMoy website and it is working very well because it is so detailed. So we have a glowing ocean at nighttime with bi biolusma. I can even not pronounce that word, but you have the complete like camera starts at a macro close up and then expands to reveal the entire ocean. So I've precisely described the way I want to have the camera movement. And that's something you need to keep in mind. It's not just like, oh, generate this for me. Keep in mind, like, how do you want the shot to move? How do you want to go with the camera? Do you want to have like a zoom in? Do you want to move it to the left? 
You can do all of those things within Runway. Okay, so this next one worked pretty good. It is a girl that is standing in the woods and the camera slowly zooms out. We have very cool graphics with their full red moon. The only thing that didn't work is that she is ascending into the sky. So the way I wanted it to do it is girl ascends from the woods. I should have said girl ascends into the sky. So if I were to regenerate this, I would say reuse this prompt. And now I can say ascends from the woods into the sky. And now let's see what it generates. This version is looking much better. As we can see, she is floating into the sky. And yeah, here I don't know what's going on, but like if you move over to the last five seconds, it's looking very, very good. Another one that I really like is this one. I've generated this using the custom ChatGPT bot. It's in the jungle. I just don't know what this like explosion was right there. But other than that, it looks very cool as if you were going with like a super wide angle into the jungle and you fly up this tree. So this one is very cool. Then let me show you a few failed ones. So one that like horribly failed was this dragon. And this dragon, it just doesn't know what to generate. I'm not sure if I wasn't specific enough, but it has the movement of a dragon, but I don't know what this head is. I don't know what's going on with its wing. It just didn't work. So maybe I have to be more specific about the dragon. Um, another one that I don't really like was this meteorite. I wanted to have like following the meteorite from falling out of the sky and i tried to be as specific as possible it kind of did it but <laughs> to me it just looks really bad it just look like really cheap uh, vfx speaking of vfx by the way you can create your own vfx like this so this one has been animated lighting strike that is rapidly moving in a plain chroma key green background so i could actually use this in my videos right now and now we have lighting effects on my video. You can come up with any type of effects for your video. So this will be great for filmmakers or YouTubers or anyone that wants to add some VFX in their videos. You can just make them yourself using Runway. So Runway is one of the best tools when it comes to video generation. It might be a bit expensive though, at least I found it to be quite expensive. But besides that, there is another tool that is called LTX Studio. And if you want to see more of that tool, then click the video that's on the screen right now. It's a different kind of concept and it's also a bit cheaper to use than Runway. So it might be worth it for you to check this out. As always, I will see you in the next video.